Alright folks, welcome back to Viewfinder. Uh, we have one level remaining in this area as far as I can tell. There's this little secret place up here that I think just had the recording right, yes. Anything else? Are we going to get the camera out in this place? Presumably we will. Maybe? I don't know, maybe the camera will always be limited to inside. Um, actually there's something I need to do. <laughs> Uh, I need to change the filter because it's just making the puzzles harder to solve. Um, how do I like go to no filter? How do I go to no filter? Shall this cancel button that just leaves the filter as is? Grayscale? Maybe you can't have one? Let's go for this. Let's do warm. That feels still usable. Oh yeah, so I was looking on the Steam discussion forum things about the fact that Run doesn't work. Um, and the consensus there seems to be that Run is not intended to be a thing. And it's just listed in the controls for some reason. <laughs> like, I don't, think, I don't think Run exists for anybody, maybe. Um, I would definitely like to have it if it does feel very slow walking around sometimes. Um, yeah, apparently it's normal that I'm not able to use it. Okay, where are we? We have a camera. Where's my camera? No! You've taken it away from me. Another Rubik's Cube. Oh, we can actually go in here. Anything to interact with, just lots of tools and things. I can have to sit down as per usual, very low down. Examine. Five step plan for saving Mirren's project. Is Mir so Mirren's project is the weather thing, I think. Step one, trash bad schematics, out of sight, out of mind. Step two, repurpose biofiltration data for Mirren's original architecture idea. Step three, invite Mirren over for Mahjong. Step four, commence inevitable fight over Mahjong. Step four, make her see reason. Step four, talk about how much fun we had building the teleporters. Step five, remind her that failure is part of the journey to success. Hit the road and get out of dodge. Step five, the actual step five is brainstorm new good schematics. Sure. <clears throat> sure, where's my camera? What's this level gonna be? Ah, I'm stuck. Jump up those steps. It's a very dark place as well. Curiously. It's like dusk. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's sneaky. <laughs> they do look like they're real stairs until you get closer. That's cute. You can notice as you go down the, the steps here that. They warp a little bit because your perspective is changing. Um, okay, so we're not going up there. Where are we going? Up here? Up here? Oh, no. What is the plan right now? I mean, in other situations, we've been able to look at something from a certain perspective and then be able to form it into the world. Can I not just do that here? <laughs> Like, like the things where we were aligning up bits of a picture and then like getting in the right positions to see it and then it would form in the world. How is that really functionally different to me? Like just, you know, looking at anything in the world and then making that geometry appear. Why can't I look at this and see, oh, the stairs and then make that geometry appear or even just look at the wall and make that geometry appear. Well, that would do nothing, obviously. I'd just be replacing the actual geometry with the same geometry, but... We've established that I can just like, without a camera or a picture or anything, just like, I mean, I guess there was a picture. It's like, there's the necessary thing that there has to be a picture of some form. Just trying to understand the, the logic of this place. Um, like a two, a square, two dimensional. Oh, I see what we're doing. This is now no longer a thing. Where are we going? We're going this way instead. <clears throat> Oh gosh, you're already messing with me now, aren't you? Was the, were those just not stairs at all? <laughs> okay, what's next? I do see a teleport, but are you really a teleport? I don't trust you anymore. I do not trust you. 
Ah. Okay, that's interesting. Well, I guess it's very obvious from over here. Wait. I feel like that must have changed. I would have seen that, right? But no, like from here, it almost looks complete, but no. It's a bit clever. It's isn't just it? a texture. Silly Young was always fond of games. A good puzzle to keep himself busy. His workspaces were no different. Uh, um, I thought we came together to compare notes. I don't have anything new to share. Are you sure? There's always something new to explore here. Nothing of value yet, but soon. That was a nice idea, Aaron. Relaxing even. Thank you. Uh, but don't you think it's time we got back to work? Hey, friend. I don't mind a few more of those optical illusion trickery things. So there's the exit here. Um, hello? This is a disaster. I need to speak with Miriam before this gets any worse. Where has she been anyway? She's so busy with her work I haven't seen her outside her space in a while. I'll, I'll give her a call. This can't go on. So, so you're worried about something and you want to help Mirren with the project, but you're not telling her what the problem is? Or something? Something like that? I don't quite get what's going on, but whatever. Um, like, maybe it'll make more sense as we go. So that's meant to look like a wall, but it's actually stairs. We're doing the opposite now. <laughs> I feel like some of these things are changing, right? Like, as in that wasn't like that when I came in, it was a wall and I got here and it stopped being a wall. Although I don't know, it's hard to, I guess, hold on. Ah, so it, it, it did a little snapshot there. So we can actually walk around again and see. Um, it did a snapshot there, which makes me think that yes, that's what's happening. Yeah, it's clearly a wall. And then, There we go, it happened. <laughs> happened eventually. <laughs> At some particular angle. Okay. So that's probably, ah! <laughs> it's probably what's been happening in a few places. Let's see if that's true there as well. Yeah, there's a question mark there. So if we go in, that is a 3D space, yes, for sure. And at some point, it changes, yeah. So a texture on here. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Is it supposed to look like that? The grid on the back? Hold on. So it hasn't changed yet. Let's change it here. Because so the funny thing here is it's got to put the texture on the objects based on the angle that I'm viewing it at. It's like having to take a little snapshot of what I'm looking at. Yeah, I guess it's always like that. It's like slats. Okay, so now that's covered up like that. Um, so what, oh, ah, okay. <laughs> Some stairs here. Uh, there's a bird. Am I just going to walk? No. I was thinking maybe I'd be able to float through the air or something. Okay, this stuff always has this kind of gridded pattern on the back. Uh, so what are you saying about the birds? Fly! Just keep jumping. Maybe I can jump across? Whee! Oh, yeah, okay, so I guess... Ah, I see it formed the thing here. <laughs> Neat. Filtration system proofs for Al Jung. Who was it who said insanity is doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results? This assemblage. Who was it who said that? I don't know. Um, uh, this is like a path I have to walk between some pillars. Were there some pillars somewhere? Yes, there were in there. Okay, so in, round, down. In, round, down. That, I'm sure that's, that's enough information. Um, in, round. So 
something's gonna change. Keep an eye out. Did anything change? Oh, that changed. <laughs> that changed then. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, we're done with the camera, I guess. For now. Uh, all right, so. Uh, battery required, just one battery. Hey, cat, Kate. Where are we going? <laughs> Let's not go that way. Uh, battery required, storage locker 1B, storage locker 1C. Okay, just a bunch of labels. Can we sit on these again? No, okay. There's only one stack of chairs we could sit on. Okay, there's a fixed camera. There's a battery here. Ah, there's not a battery here. Um, I guess there was for a moment, so. So maybe the idea is to take a photo of it so it remains a battery. Ah, look. I <laughs> guess that's designed to look like it. Yeah, it's not like that's the bottom of the wall. Okay. So we do this. A photo of it, and um, hopefully this this copy of it isn't affected by the illusion. Or will it be as well? It is as well. Okay. Um, mm, ah. Okay. How do we not make that happen then? How would we make that not happen? Go in, replace, like it'll still happen, right? It's just a, yeah. It doesn't matter which side I approach this from, that's always gonna happen. How's one grab the battery? Got two photos I can take. But I cannot go up to the battery without it turning into that sphere. So what would stop that? Um, what would stop that? It doesn't matter from where I approach this, it's still gonna do it, right? Yep. When I say sphere, I mean cylinder. <laughs> Um, okay, so what, what can I do with a photo of this? I mean, I can take a photo of the cylinder, I don't think that helps, right? It will work, sure. It didn't work. But yeah, I'm just taking a photo of the cylinder there, that's not useful. Is it? To do with like, this is somewhere I could grab it from. Oh, ooh, I got an idea. Okay, idea is make the thing fall towards me, so I'm not going close to it. So maybe it's, this is about like, there's a bounding box. Oh, let's actually take the photo. It's like a bounding box around the around the battery, and as long as I don't go within that, I'll be fine. So if we do this, will it fall towards me? And I'll be able to grab it. Yes. Okay. Cool. Battered by a battery. Drop a battery onto your head. I got an achievement. <laughs> uh, okay. Well done with okay. That. Thank you. Why is it... Uh, this happened last time. Like, we normally see... Find it oh! The last one is always the open padlock, I see. They, uh, they might not always be perfect, but they are special. Uh, I guess we're going back to this. Is that the only chance you have? The only solution your mind has decided upon? Then there's only forward, isn't there? Maybe the real solution is to find a photograph of the real world before it went terrible, and then just place it, and then go and live in there. Or just live in here. 
<laughs> Forever. All right, next chapter. Looks like there's gonna be five. Unless there's like Mirren's bonus stuff at the end. Elites. Ah, we're going to Mirren next. Seems rather special. The one who started all of this, with good intentions, no less. She even made me, and for that, I will always be thankful. Even though she. Well, she really loved this place. What did she end up doing? Oh gosh, this is getting a bit <laughs> janky with the physics. Oh, it's rainy. She liked the rain. Does she want it to be rainy? It's different, isn't it? Mirren was passionate about her studies. Time. Um, okay. You see, there are levels inside, and there's a filter selection thing. Anything around the back here? Something. Everything's getting very wet. All those. Biscuits are getting wet. Nice selection of biscuits. Uh, got a, a lens for we've got a telescope. It looks more like a camera lens. I think it is a camera lens. We have a telescope here as well. Um, I don't think there's anything to like, there's no like audio locks or anything. No. Nope. I guess we could sit down. Lovely. <laughs> In the rain. Um, <clears throat> but then it's virtual rain, so maybe it actually doesn't have an effect. It's just aesthetic. I mean, that is true in the game. <laughs> okay, we set a filter, we'll leave that as is. It's this diagram again, something to do with wind. Wind hasn't been relevant to us so far. Okay, more equations. Um, that's the equation for a cat. <laughs> Makes sense. Wind control, need more trials. I guess the wind is to do with the weather I'm machine thing. Weather of this disruptor. It makes me feel tall. Which structure? Higher and higher we go. The building, you mean? Uh, what are you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's with the weird buttons on the lamps in this place? Okay. Ooh. What is that? Is it like a... Is it like sausages? Like a toad in the hole type thing or something else? I don't know. Um, all right, here we go. First level here. We got the camera back. Hey, friends. So we'll listen to this. I've been staring at the wall for hours. It's quite beautiful in the way that it imposes upon the sky. If you know where to look, you can already see that there will come a day when the blue skies we take for granted are gone. Replaced by some other darker colour. I know it in my heart of hearts. But there's something... Hmm. ...hopeful about that purple. At the very least, it's not right. I thought I saw uh, Melanie here. <laughs> I mean, the sky in the real world is kind of red, I'm afraid. Um, sorry to tell you. If I can't figure out what's going on with the purple wall before his next visit, then I'll have to explain to him its unintentional nature. I don't know what I'll do if I... It's not a glitch. Somehow I engineered the purple wall, which means its unusual behavior is a simple matter of an unbalanced equation that needs balancing. There's always a cause for an effect, no matter how unforeseen. All that's happened here is that a number is out of place. I, I will find it and I will fix it. Okay, you left your um, 
tea or coffee on the piece of paper. Um, what purple wall? Th th this? Which structures are we talking about? I'm confused. You mentioned the structure. I did not notice the structure. Maybe I'll notice it when I go back. This is a weird looking wall though. Oh, a blue battery. It appears to be spreading. I am not concerned. Yeah, is this stuff, I guess? I mean, it just looks kind of metallic and purple a bit. Yeah, I guess. Did we destroy the world? Was it not climate change? Was it something else? There's another phone here. There was a phone in another place that never rang, right? I think. Um, what are we doing? There's a battery there. There's a battery here. How many batteries do we need? Two. So why isn't this just make a... Oh, is this like not disruptible? Is that the point? Yeah, okay, okay. It's not disruptible. All right. Um, in which case, we form a path around it. That's the plan. Like here to there. That's probably doable. We're gonna have another cat. Sadly, we will not. There we go. The battery's fine. Oh, and the battery's purple as well. It doesn't get disrupted. Okay. Cool. <laughs> you figured it out. Everyone would have been impressed. I did figure it out. Hello. Okay. Oh, sad that you can't take a picture of the cat. Okay, lots of this wall. I didn't beat the infection, I transformed it, making the violet work for me in ways that will change everything. I've spent days playing with it like I did the first block set mum gave me as a child. The kinematics of what I've created are mind-blowing. I've always told myself that people will only flock to you once your work truly pushes the boundaries of what they think is possible. With the violets we can do that, and more. We can show them how to build new realities with a substance that breathes like a living organism, replicates with all the elegant momentum of a machine, but doesn't destroy unless we want it to. How to do big things with the violet, it's too monumental of a discovery not to put to good use. I'm not quite sure what it is, like, you're saying it's like an infection, it's spreading, like... I wonder how we're gonna reach that teleport. Was, was there a wall here and now that wall has been changed by the violet in some way? Like, how does that work? Oh, I guess the building's in the background with the violet stuff. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. That's those structures. Um, it's like, it's obviously doing nasty things to the, the plants in search, although they still seem to be... I mean, I don't know if they're alive, they're, they're squirming. Um, hey, you're still yellow. Um, what was I going to say? But then this always just brings me back to the like, okay, but what about the fact that we're in a virtual world, like... Isn't this programmed to do this? And if it's not programmed to do this, is it, so that well, so you just said it's not a glitch, right? Somewhere was that the previous thing? I think it was in the previous thing. Um, what was on this? This is incredible. The system is self Oh, I don't think I've listened to this yet. Forward. It can be used to build structures, new buildings supported on its own energy. This could truly help push the principles of my research. But in the real world, or just here? <laughs> I guess you're implying in the real world. Miran was so excited about her work. Ambition is an infectious thing. So I can imagine that this is like the thing. It's like they invented this, they thought it would do something great, and it's destroyed the world or something like that. Violet air filtration architecture. But yeah, I still don't quite get how it works. Like, what's the mechanism that this violet thing spreads. Like presumably these walls were here and it's just like infecting stuff and make but then the, th the other thing is that its property seems to be that it's not affected by the camera but the camera only exists in here. <laughs> like I don't know I don't quite get I don't quite get yeah what the implications of this violent thing are. Um, what am I doing? I guess I'm walking down here. 
Put something to a line. I guess we can. Sure. Um, pick up the Rubik's Cube. Put it in the mug. Oh no! Okay, it's fine. What am I doing with this? Maybe using it to get up here? Okay, then we're gonna photo. Which is just background. But none of this we can destroy. Where are we going? It's a thing over there, right? Yes. This is just background, so it won't do anything. At least any of that. Oh, I see. This is not purple, though. Okay. And then we have film. Ah, so we can take a photo at this point. And even thought about the fact that I was given a camera with zero photos. Uh, so then we want a way of getting to that somehow. Um, this looks like it's set up to be something. Hmm, I don't know. What would I want to copy? What would I want to copy? Oh, I guess I could take a photo of the thing through the, the metal bars. That's all I'm doing. Oh, okay, so the metal stuff's not even in the photo. There it is. Another brilliant work around. I see. So, it's, so not only does it not get removed by placing the photo, it doesn't get picked up by the photo. Wait, actually, let's double check that. So if I go back and just do this, what happens? Yeah, okay, okay, yep, yeah, it does not get picked up at all. Let's make it easy on ourselves by positioning it nicely. There we go. <clears throat> Why is this... It's like covered up there and there. Oh, when I go in, I'm going to be like looking through a thing, aren't I? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Where's that ringing coming from? Here? You made it! I'm so happy. Nice work. You're near the end of this wild maze. At least, as far as I can tell. The weather disruptor must be around here somewhere. Yeah? It's Marin's life work, right? This is the disruptor. It, away. it doesn't Find exist. It let's get you out of that. The violet is the, the thing. Marin's life's work. I see. Yep, you're a bit confused, Mirren aren't you? And the others developed a lot of potential solutions for your current climate worries. I'm sure one will be useful. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> you sound very confident. Uh, okay, so there's a table over there with something on it. Um, so wait, what we know is that, oh, we don't have any photos. That's something we know. Um, were, was there any film down here on this desk? No. Broken, revisit later. No film down here, I don't think. Oh, unless there's something back here. Aha! I'm sure you noticed by now, but using film was always Mirren's idea. It's a dark room. One of her many passions. So she was the photographer. Uh, what are we doing? I guess we're connecting over to the place with the table. And then somehow we're gonna get, gonna get across there. Uh, how do we do this without destroying stuff? Oh, it won't destroy stuff. Yes, okay. Got it, that'll fill in the two gaps in the other place. Here. Oh, there's three gaps. Ah, but we can get to there at least. That seems okay. It's another table with some film on it. Then maybe we do this. And this. That works for me. Uh, just accidentally created that in the floor, and we're done! Level 1 complete. Level 2 is right next to it. You remind me a lot of Mirren, you know? Why? I have like Always zero personality. Information, mastering it quickly. Ingenuity. Sure. From what I've gathered, having a passion to strive forward is the first step to accomplishing many things. 
And the first step to destroying the world, maybe. That's my current guess is what's happening here. <laughs> That's the twist, maybe. Um, all right, uh, we'll save the remaining ones till next time, I think. Um, curious what we'll be doing. Because like, we've just introduced Violet, so will Violet be part of all of these levels? Probably. Um, and then what's World 5 going to be? This kind of feels like a, the world we've been building up to, maybe. So what's what? Yeah, what's World 5 going to have for us? Who knows? We'll see when we get there. But yeah, next time we'll continue with Level 2 in World 4. Goodbye.